Sorry, Benz. <laughs> Nothing that I can sell. Okay. And looks like more freaking trash. Hey, how you doing? Welcome back to Film Trip. And on today's episode, we will be talking about eight reasons why fans moved on from Storage Wars. But before we move on, if you're a fan of Storage Wars, make sure to hit that like button. Also, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to stay updated whenever we upload and stuff. And if you're a new subscriber to the channel, let us know by commenting down below, and we will feature you in a later video. And now, let's hop straight into the video. Number 8. Outside Controversies Although it may seem as though the drama in the lives of the cast featured on the show revolves solely around storage hunting, this is not the case, as the cast has had their fair share of personal drama that was enough to push fans away from the show. Brandy and Jared each have a criminal past, with Brandy having been arrested for driving under the influence and Jared doing time for drug dealing. Barry Weiss is another cast member who found himself entangled in drama, as it was revealed that he was the one that gave American TV personality Jesse James the Nazi hat that he was infamously pictured in during his 2010 meltdown. Overall, being involved in scandals certainly did not help the show's ratings, but rather brought them down. Number 7. Unfair Pay While being a main cast member on a popular TV show may bring dollar signs to your mind, such was not the case for Daryl Sheets, who protested against the show's unfair pay cut. After firing Daryl's son Brandon from the show due to budget cuts, it seemed as though Daryl was headed for a similar fate when he was reported that producers were not only looking to cut his salary in half from $30,000 to $15,000 per episode, but also reduce his appearance to only 4 episodes out of a 26 episode season. While Daryl quickly resolved the situation after threatening to quit, fans were left unimpressed by the show's attempt to screw over a fan favorite. Number 6. A&E Admitted to Hester's Claims While fans were initially skeptical of the claims in Hester's lawsuit, A&E's response to the claims shocked many, as the network basically confirmed that what Hester revealed was basically true. As the network's response to Hester's lawsuit clearly stated, they have no problem admitting that the show takes liberties with the true nature of the storage unit auction business. In fact, in A&E's motion to strike the suit, they allow that the show has captured the public's interest by combining elements of competition and business strategy with the mystery of discovering what surprises may be found in an abandoned storage unit. In simpler terms, we're doing a TV show here, people. This sentiment was echoed by show creator Tom Beers, who told a panel discussion that not only does the show script approximately 50% of what the characters say, they also sometimes consolidate pieces from several auctions in a single locker in order to keep things interesting. After all, how many viewers would stay glued to the set watching locker after locker being opened to find nothing but the worthless old furniture and garbage they're generally filled with? After confirming the show is a fake, fans did not hesitate to take their viewership elsewhere. Number 5. Producers Instigated a Fight We know reality television is all about drama, but this situation proved to be too far for some viewers. When Dave Hester got into a heated physical altercation with auctioneers Laura and Dan Dodson, things were not as they initially seemed. While it initially appeared that the fight was caused as a result of Dave lashing out after having his bid ignored, it was soon revealed that producers had a large part in instigating the feud. Apparently, Dave was trying to help fellow cast member Mary Pattian after her bid was accidentally ignored by Dan. Mary was fine with it, but producers smelled an opportunity for drama and kept pushing Dave to bring it up to Dan. Dan quickly got annoyed by Dave's backtalk, and the situation quickly escalated into a massive brawl that had to be broken up by the security. Ultimately, Dave was kicked out of the auction and painted as the bad guy. However, when the truth that the whole situation was escalated by producers was revealed, Loyal fans chose to stick by Dave and boycott the show. Throughout all this messy drama, one thing remained clear. Dave certainly broke rule number one in the storage hunting business. Don't anger the auctioneer.
Number four, scripted interviews. Number four, scripted interviews. It's no secret that most reality shows have at least some of their lines partially scripted, or if not scripted, highly planned. However, Storage Wars has long claimed it is not a reality show, but more of a documentary about the storage hunting business. Not surprisingly, Dave Hester's lawsuits revealed otherwise. Hester's lawsuit exposed that some of the most iconic quotes and one-liners from your favorite characters may not have been their sayings at all. Apparently, producers are known to feed lines to the cast members during their interviews about the lockers. This revelation caused an outrage as it left no doubt in fans' minds about the show's falsifications. Fans chose to leave the show instead of having to wonder if their favorite odd sayings from Barry or Dave's rude remarks were actually planned by producers. It is safe to say that this revelation ruined the admiration fans had for the cast members. Number 3. Favorite Cast Members Leaving the Show Storage Wars has generally had the same cast since the beginning of the series, which allowed fans to develop favorites. However, when fan favorites such as Brandon Sheets and Barry Weiss left the show, so did their fans. Viewers were left fuming after producers split up father-son duo Daryl and Brandon Sheets. Brandon infamously went on a Twitter rant after being fired from the show due to budget cuts. In December 2016, Brandon tweeted that he'd been laid off writing, I am no longer affiliated with Storage Wars. Daryl will still be in new episodes, but I have been told I am no longer on the show. Brandon went on to call out people who didn't appreciate what he had to bring to the table. Barry Weiss was another fan favorite who left the show, twice. The first time Barry left the show was after season four, as he went on to film his spin-off series, Buried Treasure. Although he returned to Storage Wars after the show failed, the second time, Barry left Storage Wars permanently to return to his old life as a self-proclaimed professional slacker. After losing their favorites, fans soon lost interest in the show too. Number 2. Producers give some teams money to buy lockers. Another major revelation from Hester's lawsuit was that the producers often gave money to some of the teams to purchase lockers they couldn't afford otherwise, so they could have some kind of footage of them going through it. While it may seem as though producers were being kind in helping financially weaker cast members, this was not the case, as they only paid for the units in order to add to the drama of the show. While the tactic is not only unfair to the other bidders, it also takes away from the show's authenticity. This amount of falsification was enough to drive some fans away, as viewers now had to question the authenticity of the competition aspect of the show. Number 1. Locker Salting When Storage Wars star Dave Hester filed a lawsuit against a and &E in 2012, he exposed a lot of secrets that left fans of the show upset. One of the biggest revelations was Hester's claim that the show's finds are fake. He revealed that the thrill of buying up storage lockers isn't always as grand as it seems, since they don't always yield up the kind of treasures that people see on the show. And in fact, many of the lockers purchased on the show are staged by producers, as the producers will place valuable items in lockers for the storage hunters to find, in a process known as salting. Some lockers do contain genuine finds that make a person wonder why anyone would leave something so valuable behind. But a lot of the time, the production crew will actually place valuable items for the cast to find inside of the units for the sake of the show and the ratings. This seems a lot like cheating fans of the show, but it keeps things just interesting enough to maintain the ratings and to bring people back again and again. It just goes to show that sometimes things are just too good to be true. Hey, how you doing? Thanks so much for making it all the way through. If you like this video, drop a like. Also, tell us what you think about Storage Wars, knowing all the information you now know. Also, don't forget to comment that. Comment down below, we like reading your comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to stay updated whenever we upload new content. From all of us here at Film Trip, we hope you have an amazing one, a great one. Goodbye, bye bye